Hello, in this tutorial we are going to take time to show how to restore your device should you have a problem and you have to restore your whole device because you didn't make uh, app data backups. Well, there's a good chance if at least you were syncing it to iCloud, you can back up and restore, or excuse me, you should restore from an iCloud backup. But if you didn't do iCloud and chose to do it locally by syncing it to your computer, hopefully you have backups in place. I hooked up my iPad. If I click the iPad here, we can see here, and I go over this in other videos as well, as well as I show how to restore in another uh, tutorial video, how to restore from iCloud. Most people are doing the iCloud. Notice this one was already set to back up to the iCloud instead of this computer. Now this is the same way if you have this on Windows. It's no different, same layout. If I wanted to back up now, I could hit back up now. Notice that I do have a backup from April 5th. Now, if I wanted to restore a backup, it's quite simple. All I have to do is hit click restore. And basically it says, hey, look, you got to turn off, find my iPad first, go into iCloud settings on the device. Okay, I did not know that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now <clears throat> I have done that. I've turned off the iCloud backup. And the reason, or excuse me, that find my iPhone. The reason is because if someone stole your device, they don't want you being able to turn it off if you don't have the uh, Apple ID password. So it's protection for you. <clears throat> so someone couldn't just steal your device and reset it very easily anyway. So with that being said, um, let's go ahead and click restore now. So now it's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna restore your device to? It looks like we have an iPad that was done on April 6th, or could we could we could choose this backup, or we could choose this backup, or we could choose this backup. Notice that we have all these different backups. It's quite simple. If I wanted to choose and say, roll my device back to say this one, I would just click that. Notice how I have all those, those uh, backups, but I would rather, um, choose a backup that was more uh, recent. Um, this one is a very recent one, obviously. This, obviously this is from uh, uh, August 15th of last year, right? But I like this one, August 6th. So I'm gonna choose that one because it was be before the problems that I had in my iPad, okay? So then all I have to do is hit restore. And now it's gonna erase your device and totally restore everything and just let it go through everything as it restores your device. You may actually have to click through some things on your iPad, so watch the iPad screen as you go through. Um, and remember, there's multiple ways of restoring data, but you can only restore data if you backed it up. If your staff didn't back it up, which is usually the case, it happens that doctors didn't follow through with making sure that the staff watched the training videos under the big how to use button, or the backups button, which would also prompt you on those things. If they didn't do that, then unfortunately, um, you can't restore what you didn't back up. It's a hard lesson to learn. Everybody's lost data before, but you only go through it one time until you become anal retentive like me and back up multiple different ways. So as that um, goes through, hopefully you can go through and restore your data. So you can see it's restoring now, okay? So I'll just click through, okay, and then just follow the on-screen instructions. Hopefully that's been helpful.